this video I want to make um, of the basic parts of a motherboard. Uh, the motherboard in question is a socket 462 micro ATX uh, form factor motherboard. And uh, as you can see, main parts to look at are um, top middle here, we have the CPU socket, which in this case is an AMD. Um, most other ones will look just like this. Uh, newer chips are a little bit smaller. Um, over here we have our RAM slot. This motherboard takes um, two sticks of DDR memory. Each one of those slots is uh, called a DIM. DIM slot. Um, over here we have our connectors. Uh, the white connector is a 20 pin ATX power connector, which newer motherboards have a 24 pin ATX connector as well as usually um, over here or up on the top a 4 or 8 pin um, ATX connector. Over here we have our two IDE channels, as you can see, and at the bottom there is our floppy connector. Those are for your uh, hard drives and stuff like that. Um, over here we have the expansion slots and on this motherboard we have three PCI slots. Those are the white ones. And uh, the brown slot is an AGP by 8 which um, most new motherboards, or actually all new motherboards, use uh, PCI Express and the new PCI Express 2.0 which is just basically higher bandwidth, more lanes um, back and forth from the graphics card to the motherboard. Um, right up here is the north bridge, or the chipset, as you'll call it, and uh, some various other chips. Um, your CMOS battery will go right there, uh, right where that little shiny metal part with the black circle, that's where the CMOS battery goes. This motherboard has an internal speaker, I believe that is, little round black part there. And uh, over here is our I.O. area, which is for the um, external connectors for things. You got sound, uh, internet connection, uh, USB, keyboard, uh, certain things like that. Um, that is about it. The CPU usually is held in by a little clamp here, as you can see. And basically, we can. Open this up and remove the processor. As you can see, it's basically what we look like. And I advise that you do not handle your motherboard like this. This is an older motherboard and it is already fried, so no worries about hurting it. So, that is the basic overview of a motherboard. Any questions or comments? Let me know.